Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how you can create a quick view or a quick look in your WooCommerce online store. Now, for example, I am at Amazon and if I hover on the product image right here, there's a button that pops up here and it say quick look. Now, if I click on the button, just like this, it's giving me um, a pop-up of a product image and a product details as well. I can see the product title, the image, and the buttons, and customer also buttons. Now, if you want to create something like this in your WooCommerce online store, make sure you watch this video to the end because that's exactly what we're creating today. Without taking much of your time, I'll jump into my WooCommerce online admin and show you exactly what you have to do. I'll just click on the I'll log in again and there's a plugin that we want to use. By the way, this plugin is not just for us to solve this problem. It's a, pro a plugin that you can use to customize your entire WooCommerce experience. So now, just in case you haven't installed the plugin already, you go over to the plugin at, uh, at plugin and search on the plugin name while still using a shop engine. A shop engine so as you can see I've already installed the plugin on my admin but if you haven't installed you are going to see something like this install now but if you already installed click on activate it when you have activated this plugin all you have to do is to refresh your admin dashboard after refreshing the admin dashboard, you should have another section, another um, section right here on the menu called Shop Engine. Now, over to the first thing that I want you to do is to go over to widgets. There are some certain widgets that we want to make use of, and we need to make you need to make sure that Add to Cart is being turned on. It might be on already, but it might be off. But make sure Add to Cart is on. Yeah, then the next thing that you have to do is to go over to the modules. The module section is the one that you want to make use of. Now click on the module section and click on enable module. Once you're done with this, click on save changes. Now go over to go over to view templates. We want to create a template for our quick look. Now I'm going to add a new one and I will, I'm going to name it right here quick look or quick view anyhow you want to put it and very important click on this drop down menu so right now i have to select the quick view template and click on set default now you can start with the blank template but i'm going to make use of the preview template so that it can make my life and your life much more easier so i'll just click on this and click save changes now boom once i'm done with it i go over to my shop page now before there is nothing like that but if i if, if i reload my shop page and uh over back to it you're going to see this i button if i tap on the button if i click on the button as you can see the quick look or the quick view is being loaded successfully go back to the templates that we created and click on edit with elementor so that we can manipulate and play around with the design concept of what we have on the front end. Now I'll give it a little time and why it is load. Now the first thing that I want to do is I'll go over to the setting just like if I'm creating a web page with Elementor. I'll, sell, I'll select Elementor Canva so that I can have just this layout display when someone click on the quick click button. Now this is the only thing that is being displayed right here. As you can see, you, I now have its self control of how I can manipulate, um, edit the same thing that, like if I'm editing this page with Elementor. As you can see, I can change the color, I can delete whatever thing that I want to delete. And uh, do I need this? I'll take off this section as well. Then I'll give a little bit more space on this. I'll give a little bit more space on this. Then I'll update the products. If I reload this the shop page back I check the quick load as you can see the change that we that I just apply on the back end has been automatically pulled up 